Well, let's talk more about today's focus, city versus countryside weather, and it can be vastly different uh, from many angles. So first of all, let's take a normal a day when we have a fair amount of sunshine on this particular day that we've illustrated here, not a cloud to be seen. A lot of incoming solar radiation. Now, you may know that as the solar, radi solar radiation comes down, it initially warms the soil, it warms the ground, and then what happens is the warm ground starts to heat up the air which is sitting just above the ground and eventually that warming extends a little more and more as you go through the day into the afternoon so by late afternoon you have a fairly thick layer of warm air in the countryside because of the presence of trees vegetation grass bushes trees uh, what we uh, find out is that some of the incoming radiation does not go into necessarily heating the soil per se but it's used in the evaporation process we do have some moisture out there residing uh, within the blades of the grass in the trees and it's that moisture which is evaporating which uses up some of the sun's energy now it's a little cooler as a result of that perhaps only a couple of degrees but again some of the energy is used up in the evaporation process not the case in the city you may see a couple of trees here and there but uh, generally we're talking about a lot of cement a lot of heat coming into the city same uh, sun angle here the incoming solar radiation heating up the city scape and uh, as a result of lack of vegetation a lot of that incoming energy is used to heat the surrounding part of the city now we go on in and take a look at what's happening here we have mentioned the evaporation process being used and that takes in some of the incoming solar radiation but with the concrete and pavement no moisture being held here so we don't really have any cooling per se certainly nothing of the magnitude that you would find in the countryside uh, okay let's go ahead and give you an example for instance if we were to look at the temperatures the country versus city three in the afternoon 91 out in the country 94 in the city six o'clock 86 in the country it's still warm in the city above 90 degrees look what happens as you head into the nighttime hours at midnight it's 71 out in the country as things have cooled off quite a bit it's 81 downtown because of all the heat coming out of the buildings the heat uh, tends to store the or the building tends to store the heat during the day and then slowly releases it at night out in the countryside we have a process in the atmosphere called strong radiational cooling on a clear night a lot of the energy a lot of the warmth that has been attained by the low levels of the atmosphere is quickly lost out to space so it'll cool off very quickly especially after sunset in the countryside but in the city, a lot of the heat that's been stored in the cement and the buildings starts to just radiate out, radiate out into the surrounding air, so it is quite a bit warmer. Typical summer evening in Washington, D.C., out at uh, one of the surrounding airports, well west of town, 75 degrees. But as we come on inside the Beltway, it's 85 degrees as you head closer towards the Potomac. So again, there's a look at that comparison, and it is quite dramatic on some nighttime hours as you roll from 9 to midnight city versus country and you can have a big difference too with storm tracks new york city near the coast strong warm winds coming in off the ocean snow to rain a lot of folks have seen that in this part of new york city out on the island but in the interior section cold air tends to hold on a lot longer so we end up with a lot more snow and it can be a big difference from let's say newark and northwest to long island where we may have very little snow from a storm but quite a bit as we had especially into northwestern Jersey. Here's a look at some additional